Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at a game called Beyond Despair. This game's been out for a couple weeks and uh, I should have checked it out earlier, but I'm checking it out now. This game is out on Steam, as I say, so if you want to pick it up, go pick it up. It is, I believe, a survival uh, crafting game, uh, like many others we've seen, like Conan the Barbarian and uh, or is it Conan Exiles, I think. And obviously it's it's similar to Rust and DayZ in that sense. Um, looks like there's not much changeable in the... Okay, yeah, we have graphics options, advanced game, hotkeys, and audio that we can change here. Uh, other than that, uh, we've got some extras, which I uh, don't know what that is, but it's not available right now. And uh, then we've just got survive and tutorial. So if we click on survive and click on join game, this is the main issue I've had with this. Um, I'm not sure if it's out on Steam or if it's early access, but sometimes it's hard to get onto a server. See, we've got a dedicated server test right now. No one's there. But there's not many servers to actually join for some reason. Anyway, the game itself, I played a tiny bit of it, literally like two minutes of it the, the other day or the other week, and it's absolutely gorgeous graphically. Uh, my processor is a little bit on the slow side that time, so you may notice some frame rate issues here and there. And that's just because my system is running a shit hot graphics card, but not a good enough processor. So I have a little bit of. Uh, uh, hey. Hello? Can you hear me? What the hell is going on here? I have a little bit they didn't of tell me everything on the briefing. a frame rate can you issue. Hear me? 400. So we do get a little intro, as you can see, and there is some voice is acting to be had. But my computer has already crashed, saying that there's 30, 13 FPS, uh, which I know is a load of bollocks. But once the computer decides to load everything, uh, we should be good to go. Now, if I press escape on the game... Uh, I think I can change the graphics options here. Uh, as you can see, we have pretty much everything uh, up to max, I believe. We can't change any advanced options, I don't think. Um, but that's basically what you get when you're in-game. So you have to exit the game to actually change uh, those. Now you see this guy here? He's going to come and beat the shit out of me. Whoa. See, we are really struggling with frames, and that's just simply because uh, I'm probably not doing too great on the old processor here. When I'm not running a capture card, it's it's a little bit smoother, uh, but even so, I still get the old stuttering. What the hell is that? Uh, the goal here is. Uh, I'm entirely unsure. You get that little bit of intro there, and then it's a case of trying to figure out what you've got to do. But these motherfuckers, they chase you forever. So you've got to run like hell. You do have stamina in the bottom left. You have your health bar. You have your, I think it's, it's water, food, uh, and obviously your heart rate as well. God, the game's slow today. Whoa, what are these things? But once the game gets to a steady point and it stops dipping into the 20s, um, you'll see that actually it's quite a decent looking game, nonetheless. Ooh, a shop. And we've got a map here. Uh, we need to get onto that truck though, because that is where they're not going to get us. I believe they can't get... They can't actually climb, as you can see here. Uh, they can throw rocks, though. I didn't know that. Son of a bitch. And I'm sure if I change the graphics options a little bit, I would end up with a uh, slightly better frame rate whilst trying to record. But the object here is to show the game as it should be shown um, graphically. If I'm moving slow enough, though, you can see we're still, we're still hitting 30 FPS here. Uh, everything maxed out. The game does look pretty beautiful. There's lots of things to see and do. Oh, I can throw rocks too if I click the mouse wheel. None of these are drivable, I don't think, by the looks of it. Nope, they're not enterable. You can't get into any of these. Sometimes buildings are enterable. I've encountered one or two. Um, but other than that, woohoo. This game is virtually becoming unplayable at this stage. 
let's see if we can minimize some uh, frame rate issues here. So if we go to graphics, we'll disable VSync, and uh, perhaps if we change the resolution scale down, apply, yes, okay. Now we might be a little better, but I doubt it. Not. We'd have to go and change the whole graphics options, which I cannot be bothered to do. As you can see on the bottom left, my heart rate or my my uh, health is literally at the bottom. Hence the screen blur and the motion effects. And also my heart rate is pretty low as well. Now when I tried this the first time, and I actually recorded a little bit of footage, um, but not enough to use. Get out of here. It wasn't too bad, but uh, it seems to have got slightly worse with the frame rate. So yeah, it's a survival horror game, and I'm not entirely sure how everything works yet. Like I say, this is pretty much the first time I've played it for longer than three minutes. The first time I played it, there was a little bit more to the intro. I don't know whether that's gone. Um, ooh, a campfire. Let's go take a look. Also, you've got temperature in the bottom right as well. Let's go see what's down here. Oh, come on. Ooh, a chest. Open. What have we got here? We got water. We got an empty bottle. And a light weapon. Okay, we'll use that because that is probably the best way to do stuff. It's one. There we go. Look at that. Now we can use that to attack those zombie things. Oh, hello volunteer. I hope you found a weapon. You must remember from your instructions that our provision bases are not in their best condition. Okay. Well, look at the yourself. sky. There are a lot of animals on the island, and it is allowed it's to really, really anything. a great looking Only game. Not all the objects are fully studied. Stay away from the dangerous ones. Another task you have right now is to get three organic but samples. But as you can see, there's not Any really. The uh, we're gonna get to the course, organic samples. We have to kill it. There is objectives, the but they don't really appear coast. on the old map. Uh, or on the station, compass at the top of the screen. Know, so it's literally just a case of finding it station, and, and trying it out. And it becomes a bit, dangerous? a bit weird any word about any in the sense that there is clear objectives, but they're not clear. So in the top right, you've got your time of day, and you've got your X and Y coordinates. Dude over there, I hope he's not gonna come get me. But beyond that, it is quite a tough and brutal game. Because when I played it the first time, I was killed at least five times. I'm walking now to see if I can keep the frame rate up. Uh, it seems to stutter at certain points, it's a bit strange. Right. What have we got here? Mannequin head. SOS marked on the map. I also believe if this isn't out yet, but I'm sure it was out. If it's not completely out on Steam, uh, then that will be why no one's playing. But I'm sure that it's been out for a couple weeks now. We got here, uh, and there were more servers than that. But sometimes it's really hard to find uh, to find some decent servers. Well, so I'm not too sure. Won't starve to death now. And it's very, very dark. We got a kniff. Um, we've got some stairs here, but it's really hard to freaking see. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, nice. Oh, God. Someone was killed here. And taken upstairs. Do you really want to go see what's up there? Can you smash this? No. Seems like we've got no way of getting up. Damn, I wanted to see what was up. Oh, shit! The fuck did he come from? Jesus Christ, he came out of nowhere, that guy. Where the hell did he come from? He was killing me and I didn't even know it. Now, I know you can't really see much from this short video clip, but this is kind of what Beyond Despair is all about. Uh, survival, horror, bit of action orientation. Okay. Um... And in all honesty, I think it's going to take a few hours of play to actually scrape just the surface of this game. But you can see that it is a, a visually gorgeous game. The gameplay is pretty smooth. Uh, the frame rate on my system is pretty crap. But if you have a good system, I'm sure the frame rate will be better. Uh, and you won't be recording at the same time. But overall, it's, it's looking like a good game. And I can't wait to get stuck into this. This was a look at Beyond Despair. It's out on Steam, like I said before. If you want to pick it up, go check it out. And let me know what you think of this game if you have it already. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And as always, slap that subscribe button to help me out. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.